Caroline was Yankee. He's back with some intense training. She begins with, with burning her arms muscles since she wants to gain strength fast. That's why this arm workout comes to her mind, throwing weight plates off the beach. This exercise not only challenges her upper body strength, but also requires precision and coordination. As the weight plate soars through the air, Wozniaki muscles are engaged in a burst of effort, ensuring a high degree of intensity in her training routine. Uh, talking about intensity, weighted slate pushing is another exercise that has become staple in Wozniaki arm workouts. By exerting force against the resistance of a heavy sledge, she not only targets her arm muscles but also develops a core stability and strength, leg strength. The rhythmic pushing and pulling uh, motions create a burst of energy and this is so good if she wants to add the overall muscle strain in her training. So just to make her training quite tough, she adds medicine ball slumps into her routine to put more emphasis on her commitment to intense and advanced arm workouts. To add more force to her arm workouts, Wozniaski include trap bars, deadlifts. This is a compound exercise target multiple muscle groups, including the arms, back, and legs. Now, jumping in on a forehand analysis. Mm, one thing all of us know is that Wozniaski's forehand has the ability to get the racket head underneath the ball effectively. By doing so, she can generate a good top spin and keep the ball within the court boundaries with consistency. Her inside out swing pattern also contributes to her ability to hit slide and rubber shots to his side. These factors explain why she can maintain a high level of consistency and rally effective from the baseline. Like in any other women's players, Wozniaski employ a semi western grip, which allows her to generate spin while also providing the flexibility to flatten out the shots with, when necessary. This grip offers a balance between control and power, enabling her to vary the depth and tra trajectory of her forehand. However, on a drawback of her technique uh, is that a loop can uh, become excessively large at times. As a result, she struggles to handle fast balls directed towards her forehand, uh, often making contact late and compromising her short execution. Additionally, the large loop can lead to occasionally balanced excess, causing her to lose stability during the stroke. One key significant flaw is Wozniaski's forehand technique lies in the premature backward movement of her wrist during the swing. This early wrist layback prevents her from fully utilizing the stretch shortened cycles which is crucial for generating power and explosive uh, acceleration. By delaying the backward movement of the wrist until the appropriate mo moment, she could harness the energy stored in her muscles more effectively, resulting in a more potent and penetrating forehand. As she says to return the, uh, to the game uh, and to overcome these challenges and enhance her forehand, Wozniaski could focus on a few key areas. First, she could work on shortening her loop, particularly when dealing with the fast balls. By reducing the size of her swing, she can improve her timing and increase her chances of making contact with the ball in a more optimal position. This adjustment will allow her to hit the ball with greater consistency and precision, particularly when facing more aggressive opponents like Igor Schwantek. Another key area of improvement of Ozianski is her footwork and position on the court. By anticipating the ball trajectory and moving efficiently to set up her forehand, she can improve her timing and reduce the frequency of late contacts. Just to add, refining her balance during the short will also help her maintain stability and generate more power when needed. One of the physical aspects of Ozianski could benefit from focusing on strengthening the wrist and forearm muscles to maximize the potential of stretch shortening cycle. Engaging in a specific uh, exercise that target these areas can help improve the racket head speed and overall shot power. As for now, we can all agree that 
while Leozanski's forward may not only be impo as imposing as some of her rivals, her overall game style and strategic approach have enabled her to achieve remarkable success throughout the car her career. She has capitalized on her defensive skills, court coverage, and mental resilience to outlast opponents and win several prestigious moments, including one that single Grand Slam 2018 Australian Open. Let's keep watching. Yeah, I have more to cover. By the way, let's talk about her footwork drills. Huh? One of her favorite footwork exercises begins with uh, rope jumps are effective in improving coordination, endurance, and overall lower body strength. Wozniacki aims to develop her ability to quick change directions, aim, maintain balance, and reach difficult shots with greater efficiency. These footwork drills play a crucial role in optimizing her performance and giving her competitive edge in a match. Another drill that Wozniacki always does is going around cones while being pulled with a resistant band. This exercise focuses on lateral movement as she needs to quickly navigate around the cones while resisting the force of the band. Sliding drills are another virtual drill for Wozniacki's footwork training. These drills involve sliding lateral across the soft bar, softboard mimicking the movement required during tennis match tennis matches. Sliding drills improve her ability to change direction rapidly and efficiently, enable her to reach balls that are hit wide or deep. Foot talk and grass talk, we know that they go hand in hand. Um, what do we know about herself or what can we learn about herself? So uh, what I can really say about Wozniacki's self is that, is that it has slight stop, stop uh, in her motion. As she prepares to strike the ball, her racket comes to a complete halt before the execution of the self. This pulse disrupts the fluidity of her motion, which is considered a crucial characteristic for a greater service. To enhance herself, Wozniacki could work on eliminating this stop in her, in her motion, aiming for a seamless and continuous action that maximizes power and precision. If you look the preparation angle of Wozniacki's hips and shoulders is, a, in a, is an area that he could improve. Excellent servers typically exhibit great rotation in their shoulders compared to their hips. Um, so what I can really say, Wozniacki does not achieve the ideal body position required for a powerful serve. To enhance her serve, she could focus on rotating her shoulders more during serving motion, which will keep her hips relatively stable. This adjustment will optimize her body's kinetic chain and contribute to increased power and accuracy. Despite these areas of improvement, Wozniacki demonstrated several commandable aspects in herself. One of these is ability to achieve good pronation. This is when the motion of the forearm and wrist during the serve Wozniacki is effectively utilized pronation by moving the side of the racket up toward the ball until just bef before contact, at which point uh, she pronates her forearm. This technique to to really contributes to generation of speed and power, enhancing the effectiveness of her serve. So the bit about it of Wozniacki show, shows good control of her upper body positioning. Unlike many female assavers who prematurely open their upper bodies, she maintains proper alignment and avoids this common pitfall. By keeping her upper body closed, Wozniacki maintains a compact and efficient motion, maximizing her, her power potentially and minimizing the risk of losing control during the surf. <laughs> so, you're actually thinking why I put golf as a training method. So, the issue is that, uh, like tennis, uh, golf, uh, like just like tennis, mentally demand. Uh, it is a mentally demand sport that requires intense concentration and strategic thinking, and ability to handle pressure. Similarly, golf is known for its uh, mental challenges, including maintaining focus over long periods and making precise decisions under pressure. So Wozniacki can transfer these skills to golf, uh, from golf to tennis or the tennis court. Hopefully, we'll get the ability to stay calm, composed during high situations. So another thing to look at this 
Both sports require excellent hand-eye coordination, balance, and body control. Furthermore, the control could the con rotational movement involved in both sports can uh, complement in each other. As Wozanski can leverage it from a golf technique to generate power and accuracy on a court swing. Research, and I'm not making this up, golf provides an opportunity for a long and more sustainable sporting career. This reduces physical strain, lower space and less impact on joints. In golf, uh, may, uh, golf may allow Wozniacki to continue competing in at a high level, maintaining her athletic lifestyle for years to come. Now, we know why she is back. Caroline employs a continental grip with her dominant right hand on the racket, while it's her left hand that commands attention. And like a traditional two-handed backhand, Wozniacki generates power and control primarily with her left hand while her right hand provides guidance and supporting throughout the, the stroke. This unconventional approach gives her backhand a distinct feel and allows her to hit the ball with authority and precision. If you watch this video carefully, you can see when Karu is setting up her backhand, she begins in a close stance, which is a common starting position for most players. This means she faces the sideline with her feet parallel to the baseline, preparing to transfer the weight forward uh, as she executes the stroke. This setup of often uh, recommends for players uh, as it enables to step, uh, a stable and balanced foundation for generating power and maintaining control. If you play close attention, you will notice that Wozniacki backhand technique is slight bend in both elbow, in her elbow. This relaxed posture allows her to for fluidity and flexibility in a swing, promoting smooth and efficient movement through the ball. This, the relaxed nature of her arms and wrist contribute, contributes to her overall short execution and helps her to magnetate mag tension, which can effect negatively impact stroke cons consistency. One important element we need to note on Wazanski backhand is her exceptional shoulder turn. Prior to in initiating the forward swing, she rotates her sh shoulder fully, generating a strong coil that uh, store potential energy. This significant shoulder turn is a key source of power and enables her to unleash explosive shots when, when she uncoils and transfer weight into, her shot, into the shots. And these leg workers play a crucial role in enhancing athletic performance, especially for athletes like Wozniacki, who rely on explosive movement and quick footwork, and who has missed the game for quite some time. By adding resistant band access into our routine, Caroline is targeting specific muscles in her legs and hips while improving her balance and stability. The resistant bands add an extra challenge to her movement, making her muscles work hard and promoting strength and power and development. Then, the mother of two includes the angled barbell deadlift. So, as far as I know, this is a compact exercise that targets multiple muscle groups simultaneously, including the glutes, axles, corrects, and lower back. The deadlift helps Wozniacki to improve her body strength and power, allowing her to generate explosive movement on the tennis court, like always. It also helps her developing a strong and stable core, which is vital for maintaining balance and preventing injuries. Since Wozniacki wants something that works on her leg and at the same time, promotes her cardiovascular system. Pedal exercise, bike, session, and treadmill workers are an excellent form of cardio that helps improve the endurance and stamina. This exercise increases Wozniacki cardiovascular shift capacity, allowing her to sustain intense physical activity for longer periods during matches, and at the very same time, she balances her body muscles. The cardio aspect of her leg workouts also aids in burning calories and maintain healthy body composition. Of course, she does. She loves doing lunges on her leg workout day. This is because lunges target the quad ribs, hamstrings, glutes, and calves, strengthening the muscles responsible for explosive movement and stability. Yo, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe because if you do, you'll be missing a lot for what your coach is not covering. <laughs>